like I promised, I am going to show you what happened last week when I sent Andy to the Queen Mary. Many people believe that this cruise ship is haunted, and Andy now is one of them. Take a look at Andy and Linda, the ghost hunter on the Queen Mary. Since we've been closed for COVID, there's been a ridiculous amount of activity on board the ship. But I sleep on the Queen Mary five nights of the week. I came here many years ago. I promised myself I wouldn't come back. I did not sleep for two weeks. Lights turning on and off or a shadow, something you see out of the corner of your eye. And then there's my worst part, which is the aggressive where they touch. I knew something had grabbed onto me. That was the one and only time this has ever happened to me. So we need to be very, very careful tonight because these are real ghosts and they may be looking for a way out. Is the restaurant open? No, nothing's open. So listen, um, I want to When are they going to open it again? Are you ready for this? Here's my problem with this situation is that I would do this with a lot of people here. It doesn't seem smart for us to be doing it while the boat is closed and basically you and I, there's a man coming with a dog. There is a That's man That's real, coming. right? That is definitely okay. a man with a dog. Which I d isn't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? I'm not thrilled about being here either. Hi, how are you? Hey, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You live here? I do. And, and why? Right now because of COVID, there's no one here but a caretaker. Yeah. So basically, we're in The Shining, we is are, what's happening. We are in The Shining. Yeah. This hallway is creepy. I don't like standing like with, with this behind us. It's just a weird sensation to me. Great, Linda. That's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> At the back end of the Second World War, a lot of German prisoners of war were in those forward holds. OK. I'm not a fan of wars or prisons. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a thing that apparently interprets ghosts. This gives the ghost an opportunity to speak directly to us. Hi, are there any spirits here that want to talk to me? I heard something. Yeah, yeah that was that was not us. Above. Okay, above. Above. Oh. What, what? Why is that beeping so much? Because I'm watching these numbers go, and it's going absolutely crazy. Now it says above pulled stuff. Can yeah, you see we, that? We, we need to go to the rope room. What? We need to go to the rope room. That's where you gotta pull stuff. Okay. Oh, God. And it's above us. Here's the thing. You do feel like there's something here, right? Yeah. Something didn't feel good there. Did you feel that? That's what I usually say. Did you feel that? That didn't feel right. That didn't feel right. I don't know if you guys are watching this, but we're going from 1.4 to an 8. I'm watching for my life. I'm not watching your little walkie talkie. <laughs> What I need from you is a lot more, I'm in control. Okay. I'm the expert here. You're going to be fine, Andy. So, yeah, everyone feels strong and good? Oh, the fact that you guys are nervous isn't great for me. <laughs> Should we not be going down here? No, 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 no. Well, why you say you're scared? It's just a little scary. It's for, this is why we're here. Okay, so cameras? All right. It's yeah, I'm, I'm staying right at no, the no, back. No, no, it's locked. Oh, it's not locked. Oh, it's locked. Oh, my God. What happened? It locked on you? It did, and then it unlocked. OK, they're playing already. Okay. What? They're waiting for us. There's been temperature changes, just so everyone's clear. Are you doing this? Are you having the guy who blow air? No, I promise you. Oh, what does that mean? OK. That's where it's cold. We have a presence coming in right now. What do you want from us? Religion. Religion. I, I'm Jewish. Were you a religious person? I grew up religious. I know you did, but okay. are they religious? Is there something you have left unsaid? Please make more lights trigger if you have something left unsaid. No. no. Did you die on this ship? Starve. Stop. Oh my God. Starve. Aggression. Starve Bam. more's aggression. Now it's going crazy. Who's down here right now? Oh, wow. What, what was that behind us? Yeah, there's something in the room. What was that? Is any of the crew back there? Yeah, there's, no something, there's something. There's something in the room. In the room, right? Oh, guys, like right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look how red. Something's oh here. Oh, something just touched me. Oh, Say, it's okay. Right it's okay. here, there's red. And look, there's blood. No, it's rust. Okay. <laughs> there's a heat signature on those things. Meaning what? Is there a reason, Mark, why no, this room would no, be warm? But... No, there isn't. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm sorry that the cameras are there. The ghosts are here. This is not a good space. It's moved. When the guy who lives on the ship doesn't want to be here, that's not a great sign. You need some time? Yeah, I think we take a break. 
So. Yeah, I'm a low level girl. But, but you know what? I try not to know what I know. <laughs> I try and suppress what I know. I do, do you mind it. grabbing one out? Yeah, because yeah, I'm can I? <laughs> Thank you. What's happening now is I'm uncomfortable and scared, and these two are flirting and they're going to hook up. Mark my words. Okay, B340. What is, what is B340? That's where I'm going to set everything. What is B340? Okay. What is B340? Is someone going to explain that to me? Yeah, this is a really cute little room, I would say. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't feel anything bad yet. No. This is like the most haunted hotel room in the whole country. Are you, stay are you laying on the bed right now? Is it OK if Andy lays next to you? How many spirits? How many spirits are in this room with me right now? I, I literally just had a, what I had a tongue go into my ear. I swear to God, I know it sounds gross. I just felt a wet tongue aggressively go into my ear. I am not making that up. Is that possible? Yes. Why would it put a tongue in my ear? It was aggressive. It wasn't romantic. Did you just put your tongue in Andy's ear? Head. What? Finger. Finger. Grace. Finger. It was your finger you put in, but it was wet. Grace, was that your wet finger? Both of the deaths in this room were drownings in the swimming pool, which is maybe where you're getting the wet from. OK, well, I think we're good. This is a completely empty boat except for us and a couple camera people. That thing is going crazy. It hasn't stopped since we've been here. Somebody put their tongue in my ear, and I'm out. Let's get out of here. Okay. Like, for real. Andy, don't run. OK, I'm not running, but let's go. All right, we have to take a break. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to talk to Andy and uh, Luna about this entire experience. We'll be back. You didn't see anything, but you felt things. I, yeah. The room where I got the... Um, aggressive uh, tongue. Not the, <laughs> not the romantic, but the aggressive tongue. The aggressive tongue. tongue. <laughs> Luna, who's our director, what happened when you went in the right, room yeah, before so me? You went to scout the location. Yes. She's our director. Yes. And uh, so tell everybody what happened to you in that room. About two hours before Andy showed up, uh, it was me and our producer, Robbie, and a sound mixer. And we were in the room, and we just finished figuring out where cameras are going to be. And all of a sudden, I felt something really close to me, like not just next to my ear, like in my ear. And it was a woman's voice. It was about five words. I didn't understand the language, but it was for sure a woman's voice. Six seconds later, my producer, Robbie, heard a woman scream. And we both sat there looking at each other, going like, what? What is happening right now? So, and everybody was so worried that the ghost would, would follow you home because they can yes. attach themselves. So you saged everybody. <laughs> Everyone got saged to make sure ghosts are not leaving with you. We saged before we went in. We did a group kind of, not a prayer, but just like a meeting to get ourselves all strong. And then afterwards, we made sure we were not getting into cars unless we were saged because we didn't want them to get in the cars and go home with us. Did you believe in ghosts before that? I think that there's something, and now I think that something is more tangible. Yeah. And, and you, like you said, I'm you're... I'm one million percent convinced. You think there is... I don't know what ghost, I don't know spirit. I just know we're not alone. Yeah. All right. Next time you'll do something, I'll go with you. Oh, I would love that. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks, you guys.